Hello everybody. Today I am going to give you the demonstration of spindle box. And uh, these spindle box are always kept in the rack of arithmetic apparatus because it belongs to numbers. Now this uh, spindle box always comes in two uh, sets. One set has numbers from 0 to 4. The other has got numbers from 5 to 9. I will talk to you about this. This box, this is uh, on one side you will see the numbers written on it and the other side uh, it's uh, lower than the, this side. And here we are going to put some spindles which are kept in this basket. These spindles will be put in this uh, each of these sockets depending upon the quantity. So this apparatus you should give the child when he is able to recognize these symbols. That means he is done with the number rods as well as the number cards which shows the symbols for the number rods, uh, for symbols for the number symbols. So he is able to identify the symbols and he can easily understand what is the meaning of that symbol due to the use of the number rods. So uh, these spindles are here. These spindles are tapering towards the end and in the middle it is slightly thick. So when you use uh, hold it, you have to hold it from the center like this and when you are supposed to put it inside the uh, sockets according to the quantity, you always need to hold it in this way and try to put it without any noise. So you have to take it to the end and hold it in such a way that you put it without making any noise. So you are not going to put it like this, that there is a sound. Okay. So, you have to put it without making any sound. Now, in this uh, basket, we have got the spindles. And along with the spindles, in this box, we have some green rubber bands. So, according to the quantity, we will uh, take the spindles and put it in this compartment with tying it with a green rubber band. So, first of all, I will show you with one uh, spindle box. The same thing will be repeated over here. Now I will take this spindle box. Here the child is unaware. He may know the meaning of this symbol or he may not know. So your uh, main thing is that he should be made aware with this quantity. So this is zero. So when you begin this demonstration, if the child knows this, you can ask what is this. So he will say this is zero and zero means nothing. So, you are not going to put any spindle over here. But suppose the child doesn't know the meaning of zero. So, your aim is to teach him the concept of zero. So, in that case, you will not say anything, but you will talk to the child. The children are sitting across you over here. You tell the child, what is this? The child can see this symbol. We say this is one. So, I will ask the child, so how many spindles should I put over here? The child will say only one and I will pick it and put it like this without making any noise. Now I will ask the child, what is this? The child will say, number 2. So how many spindles shall I put over here? He will say, you will put 2 spindles. So I will count along with them and ask them to count with me. 1 and 2. Then I will ask, what is this? They will say, 3. So how many spindles shall I put over here? The children will say, 3 spindles. So then I will say, I will count, ask them to count with me. 1, 2 and 3. Then I will come to this topic and ask them what is this symbol? They will say 4. So now I will ask the children. I am saying and you were counting. Now you will say and I will count with you. So the children will start counting. They will say 1 and I will also repeat with them 2, 3 and 4. Now, it may happen then we are, that when you are giving the demonstration for this, a child may ask you a question. Ma'am, what is this? There and there you have to stop and give the explanation for this. Here you will say, zero means nothing. So, it is to be understood that this symbol is called zero and you don't have to put anything in this. So, you are not going to put any, sim, any spindle over here. Zero means nothing. And later on you can have a separate class where you give them the activity related to concept of zero which is already uh, in some videos you will find it. Okay. 
Now, once the child is aware with this, uh, you can take up the next set of spindle box. Now, I'll talk to you what are the benefits of giving this demonstration. Now, this demonstration should always be given on a, it can be given on a mat or on a chalky. And here, since the child is using these spindles and he is using his fingers, so the development of fine motor muscles or you can say development of pincer skill, tripod grip, which will be helpful for the child in the ability to make proper strokes, means writing ability. It develops prehensile coordination. Secondly, the, co the association of number symbols with the quantity also becomes clear. Thirdly, he is able to understand the concept of numbers. So when you are tying these two with the green rubber band, so you are making this a set of two. So the concept of set also becomes clear to the child. When you are bringing these three and you teach them the concept, you put these three in a set with the help of this rubber band. So this is a set of three. So the concept of sets also become clear to the child. And his knowledge of symbols, their names with the corresponding quantity and uh, the various uh, combinations you may ask him questions related to this socket or this socket and randomly he is able to give you the right answer. So whatever he has learned from number rods and uh, number cards becomes more uh, clear and strong over here. He becomes more confident. But uh, since there is an activity which involves these spindles, so it is an attraction for the child to play with these spindles also. So this is all about the spindle box. Uh, any queries you can ask me. Thank you.